Faces in the Street by Henry Lawson. They lie, the men who tell us in a loud, decisive tone that want is here a stranger and that misery is unknown. For where the nearest suburb and the city proper meet, my windowsill is level with the faces in the street, drifting past, drifting past to the beat of weary feet, while I sorrow for the owners of those faces in the street. And cause I have for sorrow in a land so young and fair, to see upon those faces stamped the marks of wanton care, I look in vain for traces of the fresh and fair and sweet, in the sallow sunken faces that are drifting through the street, drifting on, drifting on, to the scrape of restless feet, I can sorrow for the owners of the faces in the street. In the hours before the dawning dims the starlight in the sky, the wan and weary faces first begin to trickle by, increasing as the moments hurry on with morning feet, till like a pallid river flow the faces in the street, flowing in, flowing in, to the beat of hurried feet. Ah, I sorrow for the owners of those faces in the street. The human river dwindles when tis past the hour of eight. Its waves go flowing faster for the fear of being late. But slowly drag the moments whilst beneath the dust and heat the city grinds the owners of the faces in the street. Grinding body, grinding soul, yielding scarce enough to eat. Oh, I sorrow for the owners of the faces in the street. And then the only faces till the sun is sinking down are those of outside toilers and the idlers of the town. Save here and there a face that seems a stranger in the street, tells of the city's unemployed upon his weary beat, drifting round, drifting round, to the tread of listless feet. Ah, my heart aches for the owner of that sad face in the street. And when the hours on lagging feet have slowly dragged away and sickly yellow gaslights rise to mock the going day, then Follow past my window like a tide in its retreat. Again I see the pallid stream of faces in the street, ebbing out, ebbing out to the drag of tired feet, while my heart is aching dumbly for the faces in the street. And now all blurred and smirched with vice, the day's sad pages end, for while the short, large hours towards the longer, small hours trend, with smiles that mock the wearer, and with words that half entreat, Delilah pleads for custom at the corner of the street, sinking down, sinking down, battered wreck by tempest's beat, a dreadful, thankless trade is hers, that woman of the street. But ah, to dreader things than these our fair young city comes, for in its heart are growing thick the filthy dens and slums, where human forms shall rot away in sties for swine unmeet, and ghostly faces should be seen unfit for any street, rotting out, rotting out for the lack of air and meat in dens of vice and horror that are hidden from the street. I wonder, would the apathy of wealthy men endure were all their windows level with the faces of the poor? Ah, mammon slaves, your knees shall knock, your hearts in terror beat when God demands a reason for the sorrows on the street. The wrong things and the bad things and the sad things that we meet in the filthy lane and alley and the cruel, heartless street. I left the dreadful corner where the steps are never still and sought another window overlooking gorge and hill. But when the night came dreary with the driving rain and sleet, they haunted me, the shadows of those faces in the street, flitting by, flitting by, flitting by with noiseless feet and with cheeks but little paler than the real ones in the street. Once I cried, O oh God Almighty, if thy might doth still endure, now show me in a vision for the wrongs of earth a cure. And lo, with shops all shuttered, I beheld a city street, and in the warning distance heard the tramp of many feet coming near, coming near, to a drum's dull distant beat. And soon I saw the army that was marching down the street. Then like a swollen river that had broken bank and wall, the human flood came pouring with red flags over all, and kindled eyes all blazing, bright with revolution's heat, and flashing swords reflecting rigid faces in the street, pouring on, pouring on to a drum's loud threatening beat, and the war hymns 
and the cheering of the people in the street. And so it must be while the world goes rolling round its course, the warning pen shall write in vain, the warning voice grow hoarse. But not until the city feels red revolution's feet shall its sad people miss a while the terrors of the street, the dreadful everlasting strife for scarcely clothes and meat in that pent track of living death, the city's cruel street. Thank you, that's it. Uh, it's free to subscribe should you wish to do so. And uh, and you'll find plenty more poems will be coming soon. Um, bye for now. <laughs>